Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Clea. So today's video is going to be a little bit of like a fall haul. Yeah. If you want to watch what I bought and then all the cute clothes that I bought, then watch. <laughs> so my first stop was Ulta. I know, everyone's probably like laughing so hard because like all my videos are like Ulta related. So I went to Ulta and I wanted to pick out a couple of drugstore um, like foundation and mascara and all that just because I've been out of the loop with that stuff and... I felt like I needed to repurchase the Maybelline Superstay um, foundation. These are the six they came out with. So this is one of those guys that I picked. It goes on pretty smooth, but I'm definitely, you probably can't even see it on camera, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and do a video on this foundation just to see if it's any good and all of that and test it out while at work. Maybelline Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is the one I'm wearing today, and I really, really like this line so far. Um, I wore this yesterday too, and I just feel like this lipstick stayed on the whole time, and it was awesome. So I'm not going to swatch it only because I have it on my lips, but this is the color, and I think I'm going to go ahead and definitely purchase some more of these just because they're super inexpensive and they last all day. I mean, what more could a girl want? And I also picked up the Maybelline Last uh, Lash Lash Sensational Blushes Full Fan Effect. This is what the wand looks like. Um, I'm wearing this on my lashes today, uh, and I freaking love it. I have, I can't believe I haven't played with this one around before. So this is what I bought, and I'm wearing it today. You can see. Definitely does a good job of separating your lashes. And again, it was so inexpensive. I picked up the um, L'Oreal, the Luminous Million Lashes. I used to use this guy back in the day, and I really liked how it separated my lashes. But then I stopped using it and I wanted to switch around because I don't like really sticking with one product for too long. I like just trying to see what's out there. So I picked this up again to see if it's still any good. So yeah, that's another thing I bought. And now we're going to go on to my Marshalls bag because I'm obsessed with Marshalls. And I went on a little bit of a spree there. So here we go. I picked up... Um, the Makeup Blender 2-pack, uh, $4.99. I mean, you can't really beat that. So, I picked these guys up. I like throwing these out. Like, I'll probably use them for about, like, a month, and I'll throw them out and just buy new ones. Only because they harbor so much bacteria, and I really just try to avoid, um, having them for that long. So, they're good to use for a couple times, and I just usually just throw them out. Picked up these lashes. Super cute. And, as you can see, super inexpensive. I thought these would be so cute to wear at work because they're super light and not heavy or anything like that. So. And then they also, when I was at Marshalls, I was pretty um, shocked, I guess you could say. A whole bunch of Anastasia and like Too Faced products and I was just like in disbelief and like, what? I spent like $30 on one lipstick and you guys have it for $7.99? What's going on? So I just picked this one up from Bare Minerals. Super cute lip gloss. I'm like a really big nude girl. Like I love my nude lipstick. So I picked that one up. Yeah, it's a liquid lipstick. And I picked it up in the color Stripped. And this is what it looks like. I'll swatch this guy in my hand too for you guys. Like super pretty and like mauvey and pink. So I definitely had to get it. And it was a steal. I was shocked that they had this guy there. This was like $12.99. I'm like, this never happens. I spent like $4 on these foundations. So I picked up one in the color Warm Honey. So it's a little bit darker, but I thought, why not? It's Becca. I can fool around with it. And I have other colors from this line that I have bought in full price, of course. But I thought I could mix them up and come up with my own shade. So yeah, this is another guy I bought. And then I picked up another lipstick from the Too Faced line. Um, I still can't believe how inexpensive these were. I don't know what the deal is, Marshalls, but keep it up. This is the color I picked up. I'll swatch this one, too. It's a little bit darker, but um, I figured I would definitely play around with it for, like, a fall look if I'm, like, shooting, like, a blog post or anything like that. So that's another one. That's the color. Cover FX Custom Drops. This is great if you want to add this to your foundation and make it match a little bit more to your color. I picked up N50. I figured I can add this to my formulation too if I ever want to switch up my foundation and all that. These are so expensive at Sephora. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh my god, I am jumping all over this. I also picked up this e.l.f. Beautifully Precise Brush. It's $2.99. I'm like, let's give it a try. It's for foundation and all of that. So yeah, I figured I'd give this a try. And then I went in and bought a nice little cozy sweater in like the most cutest color ever. This is what it looks like. And 
super inexpensive, $16.99. Right. So first up was Forever 21. Am I a big Forever 21 fan? Eh, like 50-50. Sometimes I'll go in there and I'll love what I find and I'll just purchase it. But other times it's like a huge problem with fitting and all that. I never know size-wise what I'm really in there. But this is what I picked up from, um, from the Forever 21 that I went to. It's a cute dress, I thought. This would be so cute with... Um, you know, high-waisted boots or a cute little leather jacket and have my hair done and all of that. I'm so into this whole collar thing right now and I feel like a cute necklace would look super cute with it too. So, this was so inexpensive as well. I think it was like $20. I'll list it down below for you guys. This guy. And it probably looks huge on so camera. I picked up. So I'm really into this like type of um, pattern and type of stitching when it comes to skirts. Oh. Fall. It gives it more of like that like fall look. Like it's a little bit heavier, but you can still play around with it. So that's why I really love this skirt. And again, super inexpensive. And like I see myself wearing you know, it with like a cute furry jacket, box fur, of course, and like a cute little booty. So we'll see. And then I also bought a pair of these um, high waisted flare jeans. I'm not the type of person that really likes what's in per se. Like I usually just follow my own rules with fashion and I don't really care what's in or not. But I saw these jeans, I know that they're in everywhere. And they're like high waisted, um, high waisted flare jeans. They have a couple of buttons and all of that. Um, yeah, it's like a, a medium wash denim, not super dark and not super light. But I love them. I thought they were so chic, especially like a cute little white shirt. And I'm out walking and they're super, and they're high waisted. So I thought that would be such a cute mix to like wear outside, especially in this weather. So now we're going to switch over to H&M. I went in there and I just picked up two items. Um, I've been looking for like a pleated skirt like this. I thought the color was so like fall appropriate. Like I'm like, oh my god, I have to get this. $39.99, so it was pretty inexpensive and super cute. At HM I also picked up. I've been looking for like a nude-ish, camelish, like long type of jacket. So I came across this bad guy. I thought the collar was so cute. Like, I'm telling you, so freaking cute. So that's what turned me in about this jacket. It's a little bit longer. I mean, you, you guys will probably see. And this one was a little bit of a splurge. It was sixty dollars, but you know what? I'm gonna use it all fall long. So why not? It's better than wasting two hundred dollars on a jacket that I'm gonna wear once. So I definitely saw myself wearing this way more than once. So I definitely went in and purchased it. Okay. And then my last two items are from Zara. If anyone knows me, they know like I like literally live, breathe, die for Zara. <laughs> Like, I am obsessed with Zara. Like, I love everything they have. And so I bought these pair of black jeans. They're their um, Zara Woman Premium Denim Collection. These were a splurge. Were they a splurge? I don't even remember. Yeah, they were 50 bucks. I mean, it's pretty, it's not that cheap. So, that's what they look like. They're my simple black jeans. Their ends look like. A little bit ripped up and all of that. I don't know. I like them. I didn't really have, a, like, a solid pair of jeans that were black that I wear out. So, I thought these were cute and I definitely see myself wearing these a lot. I bought this guy at Zara. Actually, my sister picked it out for me. She's like, oh my god, I have a shirt for you. I was like, well, what is it? And then, this is what it is. Still runs good, built to last. My mind is art. I felt like that definitely described me. So, I bought this too. It was, it's super cute with those jeans I bought with like booties and all of that. So this was really inexpensive. That's what I like about Zara. They definitely have a section where it's a little bit, um, not a little bit, it's definitely more affordable. So I appreciate that about them a lot. So this shirt was super inexpensive and I knew I had to get it. I mean, come on, my mind is art. It definitely is. Last but not least, because I love Target a lot too, um, I went in and we bought... Well, my sister and I did. We split this um, quilt. We're like so into like homey quilty things. So we saw this cute guy and we picked them up. It was $16.99, so super inexpensive. But 
I love Target and if you're anything like me, you probably go in there and don't leave that store spending less than $100. So yeah, that pretty much sums up my haul or my fall collection shopping spree haul, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested and like what I put together, then let me know. I'll do more of these as the seasons come because they're so much fun. I love clothes and I love sharing what I bought and giving you guys inspiration too. So thank you so much. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye.